Oh. Ow, he really broke the skin, I think. Let's see. This where they get that name. Metallic Tiger Beetle. They'll actually grab him and they'll start to slice with those jaws and then they have a fibrous tongue. And they wait maybe for a spider or something to run by and they, you know, jump out like a space worm or something and grab it and pull it down. Ah, biting me, biting me. Oh! My name is Jack, and I absolutely love beetles. These awesome little invertebrates have always been one of my favorite creatures to come across. So today I'm looking for one of my favorite groups of beetles in the entire world, tiger beetles. Specifically, the Carolina tiger beetle, which is one of our larger tiger beetle species here in the state of Texas. Let's see if we can find one or maybe a handful of these awesome, awesome, awesome beetles. Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm on a special mission to find one of our largest native tiger beetles. Today I'm looking for the Carolina metallic tiger beetle. And I'm hoping that maybe walking this sandy creek, we'll be able to find in this perfect habitat one of these impressive and amazing predatory carnivorous beetles. So uh, let's get uh, sweeping. Let's see if we can find that characteristic, beautiful, iridescent tiger beetle. Let's go. Now, you may not realize this, but tiger beetles are among some of the fastest land animals on Earth. Now, they may be small, but they can cover insane amounts of ground. Some species are even able to run over 100 body lengths per second. Now, that's a lot of numbers, but if we put that into human standards, a human being running at over 100 body lengths per second would be running over 20,000 miles miles per hour. 20,000! That's pretty stinking fast. These are some of the most impressive and interesting and perfectly adapted animals on the planet, in my opinion. Such a cool type of animal to encounter and such a speedy creature to see in the wild. Yoink! 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 <laughs> Look at this, folks. Oh. Oh. Man, they're so pretty. God, fast, of course. As you see, this is where they get that name. Metallic Tiger Beetle. Absolutely fantastic color. And you can see as I kind of tilt it, how that color changes once again. That is structural color. Oh, no, he's going to bite me. Look at those jaws right there. See him pinching me? <laughs> ouch, ouch. That's not very sweet. Look at those jaws. Once again, these are tiger beetles. That means they are predatory. They are feeding on a variety of smaller insects that find themselves so unlucky to be caught in the maw of these carabids, these ground beetles. Look at those serrated jaws. Those are just perfect for lacerating prey. Look at that, folks. So these animals are incredibly fast. Man, they're so hard to hold on to. There we go. Incredibly fast predators. So they are kind of scurrying on the ground looking for ants, maybe cricket nymphs and things like that. And they'll actually grab them and they'll start to slice with those jaws and then they have a fibrous tongue that licks up that juicy, fatty, delicious uh, lipids and, and, and bug soup uh, that they're actually subsisting off of. Now, something really cool about these carabid beetles is that they are carnivorous their entire lives. So like every species of beetle, they go through complete metamorphosis, which is a metamorphosis with four stages, egg, larvae, pupa, adult. And they actually make little burrows and they sit with jaws wide open as larvae at the face of that burrow 
and they wait maybe for a spider or something to run by and they you know jump out like a space worm or something and grab it and pull it down ah biting me biting me oh, oh. and they just devour it man there's so many of them you can see they're, they can't really move into the water but they are so fast on land look how fast that is <laughs> man these are quick but like i said these are one of our larger tiger beetles um not our largest. Our largest uh, that belongs to um, our amazing uh, Amblichyla uh, that you can find in West Texas and North Texas in the Panhandle. Um, some in Southern Texas as well. Uh, but these are some of our larger, more formidable tiger beetles. And honestly, one of the more beautiful. Because, I mean, look at that. I mean, take a look, folks. That is amazing color. Like I said, this is structural, uh, so this is actually created by light reflecting. Um, it's actually being absorbed in certain wavelengths, so what you're seeing, that purple and green, that is what's not being absorbed by the structure of this animal, and that is why those colors kind of reflect off and are visible to us, which is super cool. This is not pigmentation, uh, so in fact, insects can't really truly be um, albino because the pigment uh, is not really in their cells it's it's the way that light is absorbed and reflected back uh towards us but wow that is an impressive beetle and they're so quick i mean if these animals were any larger uh they might give us a run for our money um if earth's atmosphere and gravity supported uh these animals to reach about the size of a common house cat uh they likely would look at you and me as a delectable prey item uh, and that's no joke, folks. These are voracious insect predators. They can take down really, really large prey because uh, they've got such a strong exoskeleton and such razor sharp mandibles uh, that it can be very difficult for uh, other arthropods, even larger arthropods, to fend them off. So, like I said, these animals have super powerful jaws. And while most of my body is pretty safe, let's, uh, let's see how it compares to the webbing of my hand here. twist him so that he's in a little bit of a better position. Hold on. Yeah. Well, shoot, you're bad at this. <laughs> he's so slippery. Control to wildlife sucks. Okay, here we go. Ow. <laughs> Ow! Ow, he really broke the skin, I think. Oh, get a new one. A fresh one. <laughs> I get this one. One. We're twins. Man. They're so big. Ah! Look at this. Now these animals are practically invincible. Uh, they can really be dropped from any height. Uh, they never reach terminal velocity. Uh, you could drop this guy off the Empire State Building and he'd bounce right off the sidewalk and scurry away. Beetles have some of the strongest exoskeletons in the animal world uh, in comparison to their body size and their body weight. Uh, these animals are so, so strong as well. You can see it's been kind of difficult at some points uh, to actually keep my hands on this guy because uh, they're, they've got such a smooth exoskeleton and they've got such powerful legs for such a small body that they're able to kind of slip out of your grasp very easily. Just another amazing adaptation. Uh, to help these animals survive predation. Let's see, should I try and get this one to bite the other hand so I'm matching? Right. I'm trying to get it in a position that, how's that look? Yeah. Good. Bite me. Bite me, what's wrong with you? Ow, ow. Hmm, he's not as gung-ho about, ow. It's really, sh oh, it's really sharp. I don't know if it quite drew blood, but uh, it is impressive for such a tiny beetle to be able to uh, bite so hard. But uh, these are some of my favorite beetles to see. Uh, they're really big, really nice, really beautiful beetles. Um, it's always so much fun uh, being able to catch them, get hands on, and uh, of course, show you all at home just how beautiful the Carolina metallic tiger beetle really is. Because uh, they are, in my opinion, one of our more attractive native beetle species for sure. Maybe one of the most beautiful species of beetle in the world. So, really awesome stuff.
Well, we had quite a successful tiger beater, tiger beetle, tiger beater, tiger beetle outing. <laughs> uh, we saw quite a few of the beautiful Carolina metallic uh, tiger beetles. Uh, they're very large. They're very, uh, very impressive, very beautiful beetles. Uh, of course, you all enjoyed watching this video because that's what uh, good law abiding Jack Sword of Wildlife fans do. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed the duration of this video because my friends, like what happens with every video, I must depart. Now, not to scare you, you may or may not see me in a week's time with the next upload, but uh, there's always a chance that some horrible accident may befall me. So make sure, once you see this, to go back and watch every other video so that in case I get into an accident, I have millions and millions of dollars from my advertisement money to pay my hospital bills. So I'm not saying that anything bad will happen to me, but just in case, be sure to donate not all, but most of the uh, financial um, currency or, or other types of uh, belongings um, to my person and to Jack's World of Wildlife. So thank you for watching. Um, I can't wait to see my bank account reach that 100 million mark. Um, it's going to be amazing. And then I can keep doing one video a week and paying my cameraman nothing. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you don't want to miss any future videos. Granted, if I'm still alive. Um, of course, donate money to me. Uh, as much money as you can. Um, not to be crass, but uh, without money, I can't do anything. So if you enjoy the content, give me money. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, mostly. Obviously, if you want to give me money, uh, you can join our channel memberships. You get some exclusive behind-the-scenes content there. Uh, same thing with Patreon. Uh, I'll have both of those links in the uh, description below. Uh, of course, it's amazing. Thank you to all of my current supporters who choose to uh, help fund Jack's World of Wildlife in that way. That's super great, and seriously, it makes all the difference. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me getting... Uh, some love pecs from those lovely little tiger beetles um but yeah I, that's all i've got for you so i will see you next week be sure to uh tune in and uh i will of course i'll see you then so thanks for watching later taters all right do the whole outro like that jack's word of wildlife thanks for watching <laughs>